Hey, what's up guys, Bobo Rail here, and today I'm going to be breaking down the latest community post from the World War One series developers and explaining exactly what all this new information really means for their next game, Isanzo. So to start off, this dev post confirmed three of the maps that we'll be seeing in the game. These maps are Gorizia City, Monte Sabatino, and San Miguel which is the only map that we have images so far, unfortunately. Here we can see the map's multiple trench defenses, as well as get a sense of the map's overall aesthetic. In general, it looks like a much drier, sunnier climate, so it'll be pretty interesting to get a change of pace from Verdun and Tannenberg's snow and rain. In the newest short video put out by the developers, they talk a lot about terrain and climate of the region and how it will impact the gameplay. Probably the biggest example of this is how sinkholes were used as defensive positions and how we should expect fortifications like these to act as in-game objectives. Also a part of this map will be the small town of San Martino del Corso, and this is the same town that we got a glimpse of in the first trailer. And based on the devs language in the video, this will be the final capture point of the map for the attackers. So now let's talk a little bit about gameplay format, because it's probably safe to assume that the way each game is structured will be different than the other two games. Just how Tannenberg's objectives were very different than Verdun's. The exact words used to describe the offensive mode are, In each map, one team is tasked with assaulting defensive positions and completing a number of objectives. The other team, as you would expect, will try to stop them. The battle progresses through multiple defensive lines, and once the attackers complete all their current objectives, the defenders must fall back to the next line, which will have its own set of objectives. So key things to draw from this is that there will be actual objectives, probably very similar to how we see them in Tannenberg, but there will also be a front line like we see in Verdun. So they are effectively mixing the gameplay formats of both of them to create one refined game mode. As for the bigger picture though, they also mentioned that the performance of a team on one map will affect what map is played next. So with this set of maps, the attacking team will need to win both flanks, aka Mikel and Sabatino, in order to play the Gorizia map. And if the attackers lose these flanks, then the final map won't be played at all. So to put it in familiar terms, it's very similar to Battlefield's Grand Operations. Anyways guys, that's all I've got for you today. Expect to see more of these as we get more and more information from the devs. This has been Bobo Rail, and I'll catch you all in the next one.